so off to my side this is what i'm looking at this is the peacock so i have my picture and we are ready to rock and roll okay so the first time i did the peacock um the feathers laid kind of wonky on the wreath so i said i was going to make it one piece so that's what i did here so when you're putting this together on your wreath i would come back and put mesh right here and then attach this guy on here so it's gonna look like this can you see that okay so um there is some glitter here and all of that so we're just gonna have fun I did. I had to. I had to figure out how. I knew there was stuff happening on the face, and um, on these little uh, thingies that stick up. I don't know what they're called. So let's um, let's paint him first and get him out of the way. So this, uh, the blue that I used, um, is mountain blue. So it's like a dark, almost a navy. I'm gonna paint the whole thing. Oh well. And then come across his legs here. He will be outlined. There is an outline on here to help you keep what is what. They do have these skinny little legs. So I just did that one. The color of the legs um, is King's Gold. There is, um, there's like this dirt road that's just north of us on the other side of the big street and um, they have an, a white one. He's so pretty, oh my gosh, he's gorgeous. I haven't seen him in a long time because we haven't went up that street. But The kids are at my parents' house. Uh, that's why it's absolutely silent in here, right? So here, I'm gonna paint over the whole thing and then we do the white details. There's like this stripe thing that's on their face. Okay, so there he is. Kind of weird looking, huh? Let me get the king's gold. Oops, that was too much. There's a little goober right there. So we, um, we found a place. We just have to go look at it. A warehouse office place. Both Richard and I are absolutely terrified. <laughs> we are just, cause that's like a huge commitment, right? Like if we sign a lease, we're in. So I, I emailed the person back and asked if we can go look at the property. It's about, um, if there's traffic, it's about 15 minutes from the house. One of the closer ones that they, properties that they manage, the smaller unit, the smaller warehouse already rented, so. Hello, hello. Hi, 
Hi, Deborah. I don't know whose peacock this is. <laughs> Every time I ask Richard, is this for so and so? He's like, I don't know. He does. He's not a names person. I'm a names person. He's a numbers and a what's on the order person. So if I say, oh, the peacock and the this and the that, he's like, oh yeah. But if I say, oh, if this is for so and so, he's like, I I don't know. So I'm gonna let this dry and then we come back and we add black, which we're gonna outline, but we add the, actually, let me just do the white right now. Let's get it out of the way. Cause it's super cute. He does have a little black eyeball with a little white on it. So I'm gonna do a little bit black cause I wanna do the outline. Where's my liner brush? Let me use Welcome, welcome guys. Okay, even though I painted this, I still can see the outline of his face. Let me see if I can catch the light. I could still see his little eyeball right here. I know that, um, what was I gonna say? I don't even know. I know that sometimes you can't see it on the camera, but I can see it. So we just draw a little black eyeball and then um, I'm gonna take my liner brush and we're gonna do white. And he has um, the plumes at the top have white and I'm not really worried about what it's gonna look like other than just getting this like stem of it, the straight part going up because I'm going to put glitter on the round part. So we just need to get that little piece there um, going up. And then, let me see, let me move this. And then it's across his face. Let me just, it's across his face and the bridge of his nose. So it's um, going to be up above his eye this way, and then it's going to be from his like uh, mouth, his beak, and then below. I am staying in the line because I am going to have that black outline. So it goes to right about there to that one. Okay. And then it is the other part. I'm not looking at comments right now. So let me see. Hi, Veronica. Yes, the Mother's Day sale is still on for today. It is in our store, shophotmushmom.com for 20% off. Um, thank you to everybody who's already ordered. This is why we're getting into a shop so we can... Uh, add another machine and get orders out faster. So here I'm going to, let me see if I can turn it this way so you guys can see. Cause I'm right handed. It's going to be below his mouth, his beak and then up. So here's the line for his beak and it's kind of thick and then like this. And then up. Kind of like that. Let me grab a little bit more. Oh, I need more. Darn it. Like that. So there's his little face. And then I'm going to take the end of my brush here where there's you know no um that didn't work no bristles and then we're just gonna make a little dot right there for his eyeball so that's what his face looks like once this all dry we come back and we put blue glitter on the top up here Okay, so there he is. Um, I didn't do anything with his feet, just outline it and all of that. 
Hello, hello, guys. Thank you, Debbie. Ouch. Okay, so there's the peacock. That, I mean, that's pretty much all you do for his, his face. Okay. And then once this dry, we'll come back and we'll do the black outline. But that's a peacock. Now let's do the other fun part. Okay, so this part. I started with a very light. There's not that much in here, but I know I have another bottle. Maybe not. Let me see. What is this? Is that it? There it is. So this is Laguna. We're going to start with Laguna on the base. And I am going to go around the um, this part here because we're going to put glitter up there. So I'm actually going to squirt it directly on here. Let me shake this up. Yay! Now, just because I'm showing you this on our thing here doesn't mean you have to uh, do it this way. If you have some other peacock piece that you want to paint, um, once you see how I did this, it... What the heck? It um, It's actually pretty easy. Okay. So I'm just going to take a big brush and just go all the way around. We're just going to keep moving the paint because then we're going to come back and start drawing strokes for um, like to simulate feathers. And I am painting away, that way the paint doesn't pull up on the edges. Now think of this as like a base coat because we're gonna do a ton of stuff. Oops, I got it right there. We're gonna do a ton of stuff all over this. Okay, so that side looks good, and then more on this side. Actually, I need more. Karen, you can order it painted. I think the option is still there. This is for an order. And I did the uh, actual peacock video, or, you know, uh, wreath on a live so we have that video too if you want to see what colors I use for the actual wreath look there's a goober get off of there um, I'm gonna have to pour this over here you see I'm using a paper plate because I don't have any egg cartons we bought the big pack so it comes in like a, a recyclable uh, cardboard curtain thing and not the styrofoam which is actually better okay I am going to paint this down here just because some you might see the wood show through and you don't want that to happen but if you did we're just going to keep it covered with paint So last night, I know I said I had to paint the peacock, but I did bees and 911 rails and what else? I did the diva. I did two more divas this morning. Those go fast. Um, and then I still needed to do this, so I just told Richard, we're going to do the uh, diva or the peacock on the live today. making sure my big my big uh gray hair is not in the picture <laughs> let me turn it okay guys so what's new with uh netflix oh yes veronica thank you hi robin thank you thank you so uh dead to me 
started, so I'm watching that. That's with Christina Applegate, and I don't know what the other girl's name is. I forgot. And then I don't forgot what his name is, too. The cutie that's Cyclops from X-Men. He's played in other movies, but he'll, he'll forever be uh, Cyclops to me. <laughs> Okay, and just go around here. Oops, it's okay. We will paint this the color and then we'll put the glitter on that. So this live might be a little bit longer because we have so many details to do. Oops, that was a big old goober. But that's okay. I really want you guys to see how this is, how this is coming together. Okay, more. Hi, Tamara. Thank you, Deborah. Hi. Now, where did it go? Okay. <laughs> I'm squinting at his screen and I just need to stop. So, we learned today that our every other week, uh, we have trash, trash service on Mondays, and we haven't had any problems since. Boards that are basically like giant stencils, right? We've been putting them out there, and they skipped. And then for three days straight, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I sent a message telling them to stop skipping our house. So they came back, they picked it up, we left it on the curb for those three days. Well, they did it again this week and they I sent the message as soon as Richard told me, so it was what, 8.30, I don't remember. And you know, said, once again, you skipped my house. Well, the guy came back and told Richard that they're not supposed to be picking it up. Oops, and they never were. So they're gonna have to stop now because they're really checking. So now we really have to find a solution because we can't even get a roll up dumpster because we're on a slanted driveway. There's no way we could push it down and push it up. So, oh, problems, problems. So that was Laguna, Apple Barrel Laguna. And then now we're going to do, I still have, we're gonna use um, some of that dark blue. We're, we are gonna use a little bit more Laguna because I put down the other colors and then I put, now, why is that lighter than that one? Both the same color. So weird. Um, let, me, let me bring up my picture. So we do lay down the green, and then we do blue and more this color. I think I used a different green. Let me get another lighter one. Let me see what I have here. Let's try Caribbean, too, which is a different basically a different teal and then just grab like um not not a too big of a brush let me find one of my liner brushes where's my favorite Let's see it because this is a big one i'm gonna get it wet a little bit okay welcome back queen esther <laughs> Tamara, the uh, sale is through today. We just did it for Mother's Day, and then it ends today. So now here's the fun part. You see how the feathers go up this way and, you know, this way, this way? We're going to follow that. So I'm going to start with the blue. And I'm just going to start. I'm gonna, probably going to need more paint than that. Yep. Yep. You're gonna cover and make little strokes. So it kind of goes in line with the angle here. And I want it to show up, so I'm gonna do smaller, heavier strokes.
See how that's coming out? Yes, Mom 20. So let's put more of that it's mountain blue. It's like a shade of navy. Get right up next to this middle part. If you go over line, it's not a big deal. This is going to be covered up with other colors and with um, glitter anyways. So basically like that, you're going to make it look like feathers, right? I want some more longer ones over here and then the same thing over here. I am going to do some stuff over here just in case it shows through. Now you know I'm fast and I like things that are easy, so this is totally like my jam. <laughs> I don't think it matters if it's uppercase or lowercase. I put it in, oops, that's a big one. I put it in as uppercase, but I think it works either way. It doesn't recognize. the uppercase or lowercase. It's going to look like you're covering a lot of that base and that's basically what you want because we're going to go back and do some lighter ones on top of this with our uh, teal color. I gotta, I gotta move this so I can see you guys. I'm having a little issue right here. Let me put that on. Move this, move that, move that. I'm gonna move this over here so I can see, and then move this right here. All set. There we go. Ouch. Okay. And just do the same. Just do your little fun things. And it's just a regular liner brush, no, nothing special here. I do need to turn this so I get it going. Looks like I went heavier there, so I'm going to come back and do a little bit more over here. So it is easy, guys. Just take your brush. Look, I'm just doing this, kind of loading it up. There's, It's not going to drip off, not too much because you don't want it globby. Some of these are globby. And just flick. Just flick it, okay? Flick it right on the thing. I encourage you to try it. If you're nervous about doing it on an actual piece of wood, take a piece of cardboard and try it. Doesn't even, don't even um, try and paint anything. Just practice, you know, doing this. and just flick it. <laughs> that's that's a technical term, just flick it. Okay. This one looks darker, so I'm going to come back over here and add a little bit more blue, especially on the tips of the feathers. And here in the middle. Any place that looks kind of bare. I want a lot of blue. Look, there's a whole bunch right here missing. Scoop it up. Okay, fine. I'm just gonna rinse the brush a little bit, not totally, and wipe it off. 
and then we're going to take these two colors mixed and that's fine because I was moving the thing now I'm doing a little bit less not so much like I did the blue okay and a little bit longer stroke so instead of like the blue I was doing short fat now I'm just doing a little bit of a longer and following that same direction okay not too much we don't want to make it heavy with that color because we put it down then we put the dark blue and then now we do this one and any parts that you see need a little bit more of this uh, color here just fill it in like some of these uh, the tips of the um, feather almost like it's a highlighter okay Okay, that's enough. Do the scoop and flick. <laughs> thank you for sprinkling and thank you for spreading the love. Okay, now the same thing. I want some going up in the middle and then off to the side. If you're nervous, just practice Get a piece of cardboard, practice. I think it needs some right there. Okay. Isn't this fun? And then the same thing. So I have those two colors here. I'm just kind of dipping in one and then the other. Oh, let's get this bottom here. Just in case some of this shows. Oops. There's some wet blue right there, so it's probably going to mix. That's okay. We're going to let that mix up. Okay, I think that's good. And then we'll just look and see where some little open spots, maybe add a little bit more. Yep, I think it looks good. Thank you guys. Super fun. Now I'm going to turn it this way because we're going to work on the, um, I don't even know what these are called. They're like the eyes of the feather. That's what they look like. So here, let me bring up my color again. So we had gold in the middle and then purple, blue, and then gold. Since I have a little bit of blue left, I'm going to do that one. Well, I don't want to do that one. I really don't want to have to start on the outside. Let me see what's this purple. So actually I need a darker purple. This was like deep purple. Oops. Look, I just threw it. So purple, this is a violet. I did have velvet crush, but I don't want to use it. I want it darker. So, um, King's gold, purple which is violet and then that mountain blue and then on the outside we're going to do another king's gold the oh i still have king's gold there the um where's my liner brush this one too. when i did the um when i did the um glitter i had to do it in stages i did all of one color 
let it dry all of the second color let it dry and then all of the third color let it dry because um, I didn't want to mix them and I actually used my heat gun on the Mod Podge to get it to dry but we're gonna do the paint because that's as long as we stay in the lines it's not a big deal And glitter hides mistakes. So if you go over the line, it doesn't matter because we're going to lay glitter inside the line. It's going to um, cover it up anyways. Oops. I'm just using a little filbert brush that has like a rounded tip on it. Okay, there's that. I'm gonna switch to the liner brush because it's just a line around. Actually, I'm going to... Thank you, Tamara. Yay. Well, I hope you guys have fun. So I grabbed a little bit bigger. So the next color is purple, which is violet. So get some on the brush. This one is thin, but we're putting glitter. So all we have to do is lay the color down. Doesn't have to be perfect. Oops, see there I just went over. We're going to cover it anyways. So what I was saying is I started watching Dead to Me. And we are on our last episode of For King, or The Last Kingdom. And then what else? Someone suggests, Debbie suggested Hollywood. I don't know. So what I've been doing at night is... Um, just sitting here painting and playing Netflix. I was up past midnight last night. It didn't even feel like midnight. I was just watching episode out. I think I got three episodes in last night. And then all of a sudden Richard's like, I'm going to bed. I'm like, what? I looked at the time. It's almost midnight. I'm like, oh my gosh. That went by really fast. But I got those bees done, the 911s. So that was nice. Isn't it starting to look so cute? Hi, Christy. Hello, hello, my water. Yep, my water's right here. I do need to take a drink. Ooh, that guy emailed me back. Okay. Even without the glitter, if you're not a fan of glitter, when you put this um, colorful eye right here, it really brings the whole piece together. It just looks amazing. And then we still have to go around and uh, outline his actual body. Oh, guess what Richard did for me for Mother's Day? He called my nail salon and made an appointment for me. I am so excited. Yes! Okay, getting this... Getting that rinsed off. Now we're back to the blue. And if you guys don't like these colors or you want to do a different color peacock, I just went Google and looked up actual pictures of peacocks. Just find one that you like that you want to, you know, 
be inspired by and use those colors. Honestly, I don't think you can go wrong because they're so unique and so beautiful. Isn't that awesome? Okay, it still needs one more ring of gold on the outside and it's gonna look absolutely amazing. Hi. Thank you. This brush isn't doing it for me. I know, males are always show-offs. They have to have all the pretty, uh, pretty feathers. <laughs> And then in the, not, I didn't want that one. In the, um, where's the brush I was using? Oh, there it is. In the wreath, I used gold tubing with um, kind of like a peacock mesh. It's like that blue green. And then some purple ribbon. And another like bluish green ribbon. Hi, Teresa. Hello, hello. This one is... This one's more my speed here. There we go. But I need more because it's drying up. Because this brush is just about the width of the space here. So this would be a lot easier. One more. I know a few people bought the the um, blank one. I wonder how they painted it. don't need that. Now I'm going to switch it back and start over here and come back with the King's Gold and the liner brush and use the smaller one. And just follow the outline. This will be covered with, with um, glitter as well, but we just want to put that base color down. for the uh, glitter to rest on. Oops. And I got a little thick right there and that's okay. I'm just thicken it up on that side. So that's what it looks like. Let me see if I could turn it. And with the, I would show you guys the one that I originally did, but we sent it to my aunt. My aunt loves peacocks and my mom really wanted her to have it. Okay, one more.
Yes, thank you, Debbie. We have, I still have to finish the nurse, the new nurse painted sign that we have coming, but we've just been so busy. It's like, a, a madhouse is an understatement, okay? I'm just gonna take the lid off and get some paint from here instead of squirting some out. And they are officially on their last week of school. Not a whole lot going on, just some makeup work for the class. They have, it's called camps, Camp Learn A Lot, which they usually do in the classroom and they have a tent set up. And I know the teacher's um, sad about that, but they get to do it from home instead. Okay. Guys, the next step is glitter. You guys wanna see? Oh, let me finish this guy. Let's give that a chance to uh, dry off. Let me put it where you guys can see it. Now this one, I'm going to use my marker. I got these new markers. Um, it is clear so you can see how much paint is still in here. It's called a Risto Paint Marker Pen Medium Point. So it has a shaker in it, shake it, and I push the tip over here on my paper towel and make sure it's not gonna drip and now we're going to outline I'm gonna do the line first and then I'm gonna go back and do the edge okay so let me hold him down or if you like just doing the outline without doing the edge you can do that too It paints super nice. If you don't have a marker, this is where you could do paint with a liner brush. There's that. Let me turn him because I'm right handed. You feel like it's getting, um, a little light on the paint, just go over to your paper towel and push the tip in a little bit just to get that ink flowing again, or the paint, sorry, it's not an ink pen, it's paint. So I did the line, now I'm doing the outside. Gonna be covered by glitter up here anyways. Okay, there's that. Let me oh I was off the thing you guys couldn't even see. Look at how nice that looks. And then he's gonna have blue glitter up here. Thank you, thank you. And then we're just gonna, I am holding it down. Um, if it was still wet, it would leave a fingerprint. So just make sure that the paint is dry. You don't wanna leave a fingerprint, okay? Oops. Follow the line. And then there's our guy. I didn't put any other details on him. He had just a solid body. 
and all of the um, attention goes to the wreath of the, the colors of the wreath and then of course his feathers I don't add any details on here I don't outline this I just leave it alone if you want to maybe take white um, and do it I just felt this was perfect and then we're gonna do glitter up here okay so if you haven't seen me do glitter let me move the this stuff um, I use Mod Podge let me grab the Mod Podge, which I just have regular. This says gloss. I mean, you could use matte, whatever. You're just going to cover it up anyways. And then I grab my brush that I'm going to use. The other one is uh, somewhere. Oh, I had, to, I had to. Oh, I need to wash it. I had to glue it because it came off. And then glitter. So we're going to need... Um, gold glitter which is going to go where the king's gold is and then purple and blue and then this is really fine so this is extra fine the purple and the blue and then this is um i guess fine it doesn't say Ooh, right so i'm gonna start with him first when i'm doing glitter i always have a piece of paper that I'm doing the glitter on. Since I'm gonna do blue here, we're gonna go blue here, and then we're gonna do blue here because it just makes it easier. We're dumping all the glitter on here. Okay, prep your thing here. I like to take the lid off. If you don't like that, just, um, I didn't even punch this out. Open, you know, the little mouth there, but open your Mod Podge. I don't dump it out. Oh, look, it's all got goobers. I don't squeeze it into anything. I just take it straight from the bottle. So, um, this brush, I'm using a smaller brush. Let me see, is that gonna be? You gotta work fast um, because it'll dry. So, wherever you put the Mod Podge, that is where the glitter's gonna go. So, I just get my brush loaded up and then do like a little dollop <laughs> a little round piece little dollop that was funny set my brush down grab your glitter and pour it on it's extra fine so it's everywhere right but that's why you have the piece of paper and then turn it over okay now look at him look at how pretty he is remember he's super plain on the body so we don't want too much on him we just want that little bling at the top so he's done we're gonna set him to the side and now you're gonna do the same thing over here um, keeping the glitter on the piece of paper get your brush and your Mod Podge go around I try to do it as quickly as possible I have a fan blowing on me it's cool in here and you're just gonna like paint this on Stay in the line if you can, okay? Get your glitter and dump it on. And then you're going to come and tap it off very gently because we don't want to break those feathers off. And then this is what it's going to look like. Isn't that cool? And then the same, we're doing the same color, so you just keep coming back over here. I like to wipe my brush off as I'm working so it doesn't build up and get goobers all over. So get more Mod Podge on your brush. Do the same thing. Now I can hear Gus snoring. Old man is loud today, okay? I'm just gonna tap it off on the paper. There's the second one. And then come over here and do the third one. I do fold the paper back so it stays in a nice pile as long as it's on the paper. Clean my brush off, get more Mod Podge. OK, 
okay? And don't worry about how much you're dumping out as long as it's covered, right? Because you're going to just turn it over onto the piece of paper anyways. Tap it off, and then there's the blue. Okay, so this is what I do next. Make sure it's on there. Take your container, you're gonna take your paper, fold it like a taco, and the end of the paper here, you're gonna put it right into the mouth of the glitter container and kind of shake it off. Now, it's kind of staticky sometimes. This one wasn't, but I have a trash can right here. I just d turn the paper into the trash can and kind of shake it off, okay? Okay, so there's blue. Now I do want to dry this because it is, I don't want the other colors mixing with it. So I'm just going to put this on the low heat and then just run my heat over it a little bit. Mod Podge for me dries pretty quickly, so I'm not too worried about it. I just want to give it that extra, like, dryness. Okay, so then we just do this. Oops, look, my I pulled my brush apart. Great. Oh, how funny, Debbie. Thank you, Shauna. So now the next part, this we're going to do the purple. And I want to get it right up to that blue, this brush broke, hold on. Great, let me grab another one. I don't even have patience for that right now. Let me see, do I have another one of those? Yep. Okay, try again. Get that Mod Podge right up against the blue. If it goes over, it's okay. You just wanna make sure that it's right next to each other and there's no separation. You want glitter next to glitter. Can you guys hear him snoring? Of course, he's in front of my fan. Oops, I forgot to take the lid off. Get your lid off and then dump it. And then tap it off. And now look at that. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Super, super shiny. Okay, now the next one, fold this over. So I encourage you, if you guys are uh, not into glitter, just find a piece that you wanna put glitter on and give it a shot because when I started using it, um, it really changed how uh, these pieces were coming out and you guys if you've been watching me for a little bit you guys saw that change because this peacock feather is really amazing by itself but when you add that glitter it really does something to it so here I need to get it right up against that blue okay and then dump it and then tap it and there's the second one. So if you haven't tried it, I encourage you just find something, draw, you know, like instead of doing feathers here, draw some circles on a piece of paper. I would do cardboard cause it's a little bit thicker. Draw some circles, paint it how you want it, fill it in, you know, and then do your Mod Podge and then your glitter and give it a shot. I mean, this is, this is so fun. Oops. Okay. Oops, this one needs to go right up against that blue and then dump it. And this is why I needed that first color to be dry. That way the um, purple doesn't rest in the blue, right? Okay, tap it 
tap it. So there's the third one. And now we're gonna do the same thing, make a taco. Pour it right back into the container. So that's why I'm pretty uh, generous with the dumping because I know I'm going to uh, dump it back in. I wanna make sure I get a nice coat the first time. So let me dry this. Thank you guys. Oh, Shauna, you can do it. So now this one is gonna be a twofer, okay? <laughs> We're gonna have to work really fast on this one. Or you can do it one at a time. Take a drink. Debbie, we can't be friends. My friends like tacos. <laughs> so funny. Okay, let me get the the gold ready. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna show you, when I get this started, it's probably gonna start to dry. I'm gonna show you what I do before I lay down the glitter, okay? Because I'm working in two different areas. Man, it is windy. I can hear the, the I have a um, American flag wreath rail on the door and I can hear it banging out there. Okay, so I got this all the way around, right? Now I'm just gonna take a little bit extra because this one started to dry in the middle and go right back over it just to spruce it back up. And now we pour, get it on the paper. <gasps> you guys ready? Get off. Look at how pretty that is. Now when you seal this, if you get glitter sealer, that would look amazing. I still don't have glitter sealer. We're just gonna use our gloss. But if you wanted to add more like glitter, use that glitter top coat and oh my gosh. You're gonna be blinging, sending uh, signals to outer space with all the bling. Okay, let's do, just keep doing the same thing. So anytime that you're doing Mod Podge, um, if you find your, uh, you know, your piece dries, just go back over it. That happens to me when I do the bees on the dots. I try to do as many dots as I can, and then I'll just go right back over it before I'm ready to pour the um, the glitter. I am using the edge of the brush straight up and down. And then let me tell you, if you pour your glitter and you find a spot that didn't take, just put Mod Podge where you want it and then redo it. You're not gonna hurt anything. And then, oops, be fast. There we go. Isn't this fun, you guys? Tap it off. There's the second one. And then this is what the third one looks like. See, I'm folding this over, moving that glitter to a pile. And then here's my workspace. Okay, br wiping the brush off getting the Mod Podge. Now be careful you don't spill the Mod Podge wherever you have Mod Podge. That's where the glitter's gonna go. So if you spill it on your, your piece and you didn't want it there, don't pour the glitter there and wipe it off. But if I were to spill this like on the feather part and I didn't want it there, um, I would have to wipe it off and be careful not to pour glitter because then you have to get into like flicking it off and all that other stuff. You don't wanna do that. Oops, too much. Okay. 
Okay, so the middle's drying up a little bit, so I'm just gonna take some more Mod Podge and go right back over it. Okay, hurry up and pour. And you see I am covering the, the whole thing. That's why it's important to have the other colors dry. Just hit it with a little bit of heat, either your heat gun or your blow dryer, and that Mod Podge dries really fast. Okay, look at that. That is sexy. Thank you, thank you. So I hope I encourage you guys to do something with glitter. It doesn't have to be a peacock. Just if you're painting something, you wanna add a little something to it, add a little bit of glitter. And now I don't know if you can see, but there's glitter all over my table. This is what happens. Let me put these away. And then I just washed the Mod Podge with soap and water. Um, I have been putting it in with my other, with my paint brushes, but it's been gumming up those, so I'm not doing that anymore. I learned. Okay, so that's done, right? So now this is what he looks like when he's on a wreath. Isn't he handsome? He is going to look amazing. So if you want to know how I made the wreath, um, I, I'll try and find it to repost it. I basically did the mesh and then attached him. Now the squares are down here so you can put your zip ties or your pipe cleaners and attach it to the base. I did put um, uh, cable tie mounts on the back here so it doesn't like fly forward. So the whole thing is based down. Um, since we did make this one piece to make it easier, I would then cut maybe a smaller piece of mesh and put it on top so you have um, something for this guy to rest on and you just do the same thing. Put a cable tie mount, cable tie mount. Um, actually, if you did them sideways like this, but you could still put a cable tie mount here and pull him through and he's gonna rest right on that. Isn't that beautiful? What do you guys think about those feathers? Doesn't that look cool? Oh, thank you, Debbie. So this kit comes with uh, these pieces and then it comes with the base. So we have our actual base that you can use. Sure, I'm gonna sign it right now because this girl forgets. <laughs> Mom brain, I don't know if it's yours, Deborah. Someone's at the door. Hello, what do you want? How's that? Yay! Thank you guys. I hope I gave you some inspiration and encouragement and uh to do something like this on your own. And now you have the painted tutorial and we did the wreath tutorial. I wanna say it was like a month ago, probably two months ago. <laughs> Debbie, it's either that or it's the wind because it is windy. And it's windy because my allergies say so. Me and Owen. Okay, guys, I love you very much. Thank you for being here and joining me. This was a lot of fun. Um, God, he looks so good. Even look, I gotta just look at him again. Look at his little head. Super cute. <laughs>